Hello Formula fans, just want to do a really quick walkthrough of this 2004 Formula 34 PC. I would usually take it a little more time, but uh, I'm in a rush today to go pick up my daughter, so I'm just going to kind of walk through the condition here. Got a little, uh, few little bumps and bruises on the, uh, the swim platform, little ding right there. A couple little chips there on the, uh, the door for the, the uh, swim ladder locker. But uh, all in all, pretty good shape for a 20-year-old boat. Um, walk on to the uh, expansive swim platform here and into the cockpit. See coming in, it's got the uh, hot and cold water shower there, some transom uh, or a transom remote control for the stereo. Got your door here, keeping the uh, little ones or animals in if you'd like. You'll notice there's no carpet. The carpet was in fairly bad shape, so I just got rid of it, figured that the uh, new owner could do whatever kind of flooring they like. Get a little wet bar here uh, with a sink and a nice countertop to make cocktails or whatever. Um, get a little cabinet here uh, with some storage spot for a trash can right there. One of your Perco switches, um, fire extinguisher there. You've got your uh, refrigerator here, a uh, cockpit refrigerator. Nice little touch. Store your cold drinks there. Got an outlet right there. Then a uh, on back around here to the uh, this U-shaped seating area, really nice big seating area. Several adults easily fit there. Uh, I've got storage under some of these seats. See right here. Um, storage under that one. Storage under this one. You know, overall the upholstery is in pretty good condition. There are a few areas like uh, right here you'll see coming apart at the seams, but uh, Formula has really nice thick supple upholstery, but. Uh, Few little splits right there a little discoloration right here i'm not sure why but uh another again right here um just uh chose to sell the boat as is rather than trying to fix every little tiny issue we did just spend about uh eighteen thousand dollars going through different service and uh cosmetic items um having the uh new front bimini made as we speak right there that's why it's not up there right now then uh on in through here um, to the, the passenger seating area. Really nice double wide bench seat right there. Um, got some nice storage underneath there as well. Um, on around here to the captain's helm. You'll see uh, some nice cup holders here. Double uh, double seat here. Captain's helm seat with uh, flip up bolsters. You see one of them flipped up there. And you've got your, uh, your helm controls here with your steering wheel, your uh, your uh, controls for your twin 496 mags. Um, most of the gauges work on the boat. Fuel gauges, oil pressure gauges, temperature gauges, battery gauge. As usual, the drive gauges aren't working properly and we didn't perceive it was necessary to fix those. Um, you know, I personally drive with feel with the out drives and uh, you don't have to trim them up much on this boat. So I didn't really perceive it add value to fix those. The tachometers work, the speedometer is not working and you'll see you've got uh, your depth um, right here and this uh, Ray Marine definitely works as well. So uh, really nice there with your, uh, your chart plotter and your, uh, your uh, depth and other controls there. And it does have a bow th thruster that works perfectly. A little, uh, CB radio there and uh, just other switches down there as well um, let's See Go ahead and uh, Just walk you up here real quick nice walk through up to the uh, the bow area um, There are some cushions down in the cabin for this bow area, but really expansive non-slip flooring three windows uh, Sorry to put my janky feet in there three windows to uh, allow light down into the cockpit but a really nice big area up here to lay out. And uh, on up here, you've got your uh, windlass anchor. I will mention the windlass is not working right now. Um, decided not to, to diagnose that. Probably something simple. I can hear it clicking in there from the switch. Not sure exactly why it's not working at this time. But uh, I'm back in here and we'll uh, run through the cabin real quick. See, going down in the cabin. Everything's in pretty good shape down here. Uh, the carpet's not all stained and stuff. Kind of looks looks like it, but that's just uh, you know the grain kind of brush there. It's not not as bad as it looks. Um, 
there is not covering for the flooring in here. Those are the uh, the cushions for the bow that I mentioned. You'll have this uh, nice big seating area back here. Um, could easily use that for a sleeping area. Nice cabinetry throughout. This does have a generator and air conditioning. There's one of the AC vents there. Works great. Generator fires right up. We just had it fully serviced. AC works great. Um, really all the systems, all the, the major systems work great on the boat. We, uh, went through everything, made sure, you know, there's a, there's a little cosmetic odds and ends here. You know, a few of the, the doors are kind of, kind of hanging on a little bit like that one right there. Um, some of the cabinetry up here where the TV is, is kind of, uh, kind of falling down a little bit. Um, you know, but uh, it is a 20 year old boat over, overall in pretty good condition. Uh, nice, uh, cabin refrigerator there. Um, really nice big bow bed area, probably about a queen size bed there, but, um, Got some uh, natural light coming in from the windows there. Like another little deal. This is that just needs to be uh, um, secured back up to the window with some adhesive. Um, got your little closets throughout. Lots of storage in here. Cedar lined closets. Sink here. Um, got your uh, little stove there. Microwave. TV. Um, really nice. Uh, nice finishes. Nice classy finishes here. Formula that has a great fit and finish on their product. And uh, into the, uh, the the lights do work. I just don't have them on right now. It's actually some uh, some mood lighting. These uh, these lights here, and uh, also these lights down in there actually turn white or red if you want a little moon lighting. And uh, anyways, get your vacuum flush head there, um, sink. You know, got your shower head there. Really nice big area. It all drains, so you can take a shower in there. Uh, nice, nicely appointed head there. And then uh, there's uh, lots of storage in here. Storage under all these seats. There's some of the, uh, this boat does have a full enclosure. Um, some of it, it's in, it's in plastic bags down here in the cabin. Some of it there, uh, some of it under those seats back there. But uh, nice bit of storage in here. There's the original formula books for the boat. Nice little touch there. It's the air conditioner controls. Got your main panel here with your uh, AC and DC controls there, generator. Um, stereo works well. And, uh, you know, one thing that I always look for in um, in cabin cruisers is the headliner, because a lot of the times the headliner will be deteriorated and sagging down. But this is actually in nice shape. Everything's good on the headliner. Um, anyways, nicely appointed cabin. Plenty of room in here for a, for a you know, a family or maybe even a couple families if you really wanted to do it but uh all right i think that'll about oh get your uh mentioned got your flat screen television right there go ahead and walk back up in here there's a, a sub for the stereo a little upgrade there um and i think that'll about do it for the interior and cabin walk through and i'll just uh quickly walk around the exterior um as well and post that video as well